at the uh, Hindu Lit for Life uh, event over the weekend, we attended a panel discussion uh, on um, the Arushi Talwar murder mystery. It was chaired by um, a well-known criminal lawyer, uh, Geeta Ramaseshan, and had uh, two distinguished panelists, uh, one of them, uh, Aviruk Sen, who is a journalist and has written this book, uh, Arushi, on the entire murder mystery and the trial that followed. And uh, the other panelist was um, Tanvir Ahmed Mir, the defense counsel for Rajesh and Nupur Talwar. It was shocking, just listening to them and uh, the story of miscarriage of justice uh, was shocking. Uh, based on the sensational double murder of Arushi Talwar and uh, uh, the family's um, Man Friday Hemraj, um, Arushi, the book itself, is very, very dis disturbing. The film that was made on the uh, story uh, by Meghna Gulzar, entitled Talwar, uh, two is is, is 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 very very disturbing. Uh, both point to the injustice uh, done to the dentist couple, uh, Dr. Rajesh Talwar and Nupur Talwar. Uh, the film just corroborates something we all know about our system in India, that it is apathetic, inefficient, and in several ways completely dysfunctional. Uh, the book details that absolutely there is no prima facie evidence that the couple killed their daughter. In fact, all the evidence in the case is purely circumstantial and whatever is there by way of evidence has been badly collected, um, poorly analyzed or documented either by the UP police who first uh, investigated the crime and later by the CBI. Uh, if anyone got close to solving the murder mystery, it was an upright CBI officer, uh, but he too was sidelined when a new CBI director took over. So net-net, the two possible culprits roam free when uh, the uh, couple uh, are rotting in a jail in uh, Dasna in UP, having been given a life sentence by the special CBI court that tried the case. The more I think of it, the more the unfairness of it all rankles me. But there's no point in feeling so. The truth is life never promised any of us any fair play. You are created without your asking for it. And things just happen to you in life. And you must just take each event as it comes in your life, as it happens. Accept whatever is and simply move on. This way, while you cannot prevent or control what happens to you, you can at least choose not to suffer. This doesn't mean you should not fight injustice. Uh, of course, the Talwar couple uh, are moving the High Court in Allahabad um, through Tanvir Ahmad Mir, seeking a review of their sentence. But given the long list of pending cases in most courts in India, and Allahabad High Court is no exception, it may be some more time, perhaps a few years before they get a hearing, and a review. When you read Aviruk's book, Arushi, you will discover that the Talwars have adopted and accept whatever is, while at the same time fighting the situation, the injustice stance. Now that is our learning. While you fight the injustice in any context in your life, you have a choice not to be bitter. Bitterness is what causes your suffering. When you suffer, you cannot focus on and deal with the situation. You will feel drained and defeated. So in your own interest, in order that you fight the good fight, you must first accept a reality, any reality, for what it is, the way it is. When you accept a reality, you can understand its ramifications better. When you understand something well, you can deal with it wholesomely. Life, at the end of the day, is inscrutable. But it is also a series of happenings. To label any happening or event in your life as good or bad, fair or unfair, ugly 
or you know beautiful is of no use life doesn't bother what you think of it so when you can't enjoy a situation don't resist it either simply endure it this is the only way you can be at peace despite your circumstances